Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside the square is a semicircle with the diameter as the side of the square. And a line is drawn from vertex A down to point E, which is uh, on uh, the segment BC. And this AE is uh, tangent to the semicircle at point F. And it is given that the length of this uh, segment AE is uh, 5 over 4. And we are required to find the uh, area of the semicircle. Okay, so since we are interested in finding the area of the blue semicircle, uh, we can actually find the radius or the diameter of the semicircle. And that radius is also uh, the side of the square. So if we find the side of the square, then we can, it is now easy to find the area of this uh, semicircle. Okay, so let us start with the given length uh, AE. So this AE is actually divided into two parts. And uh, the total length is 5 over 4. Uh, divided into two parts, I mean because uh, it is divided via this point of tangency. Okay, and we can actually uh, let this uh, length Fe to be uh, x. And if that is x, then this uh, length Af is uh, 5 over 4 uh, minus x. Uh, 5 over 4 is the total. Okay, so via external uh, tangent uh, theorem. So if you have this, uh, this is actually a Af is a segment which is a tangent at f and it is also there is also from point a the same point down to point d which is also a perpendicular uh, i mean it should be tangent because this is actually a square so this is 90 degrees so the this length ad should be also 5 over 4 minus x so that is the side of the square, 5 over 4 uh, minus x. Okay, so uh, next is we focus on this uh, uh, side we labeled as x. So if that is x, then if we draw this line to the center of the circle, then this is 90 degrees. Then this is also 90 degrees at point C. So there... Uh, uh, common external point uh, Fe is x and therefore uh, it should be uh, congruent with this segment EC because they are uh, external there they I mean the these two segments EC and Fe meet at this point E and if Fe is x since uh, they are both tangent uh, tangent of f and c so this will be also x so and if the total length is a uh, 5 fourth minus x then this is this we should need to subtract x so 5 over 4 minus x then we subtract x to find the length of be so this be and we need to subtract x, so that will be 5 over 4 minus 2x. Okay, next is we label also this uh, AB, segment AB. Segment AB is actually uh, the side of the square, which is also same as of the same length of AD. And this will be, of course, a 5 over 4 minus x. And... Uh, as you can see, we can, if you focus on triangle, uh, this triangle, ABE, it is actually a right triangle. Okay, so using Pythagorean theorem on triangle ABE. Okay, so we have triangle ABE. The hypotenuse is actually a 5 fourths, so we have 5 over 4 squared is equal to 5 over 4 minus 2x for 
one leg squared plus five over four minus x squared. And next is we uh, simply get this uh, LCD. So we just copy this five over four square. So we have uh, five LCD is four. So we have five minus four divided by one is four times two. That will be eight x squared plus. And the LCD is also four with the second leg. So we have five over four. Four divided by uh, one is four times one. That will be four x squared. And we can actually uh, square this uh, 25 over uh, 16 is equal to. We can actually uh, separate this uh, 5 minus 8x square over uh, 4 square or 16. Okay, so 16. plus 5 minus 4x square all over uh, 16. So we can actually factor out the 16. So 1 over 16 times 5 minus 8x squared plus 5 minus 4x squared and uh, 25 over 16 so we can actually cancel this out 16 to make things simpler okay, so we are uh, left with uh, this 25 we'll just copy this is equal to if we square this we have 25 minus 8 times 5 is 40 times 2 that would be 80 80x then plus uh, 64 64x square plus 25 minus 5 times 4 is 20 times 2 that would be negative 40 uh, x plus 16x square and if we simplify uh, we have here uh, uh, cancel this 25 so and if we put on concentrate on this uh, 64 and 16 the second digit term so we have here 80 x square x square minus this this is 80 and 40 negative 80 so negative 120 x and plus 25 so this is and this 25 so plus 25 is equal to zero okay so next is we solve this uh, resulting quadratic equation so uh this quadratic equation is actually all of its uh numerical coefficients are uh, divisible by five so we can actually multiply this by one over five Okay, so uh, for the first one, we have 80 over 5, that is 16, x squared, minus this, uh, 120 over 5 is 24, x, and 25 over 5 is 5, is equal to 0. So for this uh, type of uh, quadratic equation in which the first, uh, the second degree term is not 1, so we can actually... Uh, Multiply this uh, 16 to 5. So x squared minus 24x plus 80 is equal to 0. And uh, we should think of factors of uh, 80 whose sum is negative, algebraic sum is negative 24. And that would be uh, 20 and uh, 4. So x minus 20 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So if you add these uh, numerical coefficients, 
20 and 4 will become 20 negative 24 and if you multiply you will, it will become negative 20 times negative 4 it will become uh, positive 80 so our factors are correct and next is 6 we simply divide it back by 16 because we multiplied by 16 earlier so this becomes a uh, this becomes a uh, divide by 4 so 5 4 so this becomes 1 and 4 okay so but we need to put this a uh, 4 to the to be the numerical coefficient of x so we have 4x uh, minus 5 and 4x minus 1 okay so we have actually two solutions so we have 4x minus 5 is equal to 0 and the other is uh, 4x 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x here for the first instance is uh, x is equal to 5 over 4 and the other is uh, x is equal to make put this here it becomes 1 and divide by 4 so x is uh, 5 fourths and 1 third okay so we have actually uh, two solutions so if uh, x is 5 fourths and if you substitute it here on the 5 fourths minus x so 5 fourths minus uh, 5 fourths so it will become zero and if that is zero since there is no uh, zero distance then this is actually an invalid answer and therefore we will only get this uh, x is equal to one fourth so if we try to get this five fourth minus one fourth if we'll have here um, five over four minus one over four this is actually the side of the square s let's call this is x s so s is equal to uh four uh five minus one so s is equal to four over four or s is equal to one so we have actually uh, uh got this s is equal to one and uh if we actually use the one for so when we use the one for there is a positive distance so this positive distance that denotes that this uh, solution one for is actually a valid solution so we have now s is equal to one okay so now that we have gotten the side of the square which is the uh, the diameter of the semicircle so we are to apply the area of the semicircle so since this is, this is a semicircle so area is equal to pi over 2 times uh, d square over 4 uh, pi over 2 because this is a semicircle and uh, d square over 2 uh, over 4 uh, because it is in terms of the diameter so since d is equal to s we can replace uh, d with s so area equal to pi over uh, 2 times s square over 4 and s is equal to 1 so area is equal to pi over 8 times 1 square so simplifying we have uh, area to be pi all over 8 and that is our answer pi, pi over 8 square units So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.